Hi, I'm Rochelle. And I'm Danielle. We are the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. In this video, we're talking all about Abigail, the wig that we are wearing. We're gonna show you some of her features and then show you every color that she comes in. Yay. So we are both wearing Abigail and we wanna show you she is a lace front wig. Mm. So what that means, I'll show you right here and Rochelle will show you on okay. here. So in the front here, there's this little piece of lace, pre-cut lace, you don't have to do any cutting. And it goes on, look at that. Look at this. It's not a hairline moving, it's the wig. Is that amazing? You just bring it up to your hairline. You don't need to cut our lace front, glue right. them, no. nothing. They're not so itchy, easy. Very comfortable. And what's great about lace front is, if you are a person who doesn't like bangs or likes hair pulled off your face, or maybe you do this a lot, the lace front is perfect because you cannot tell where the wig starts. Yeah, and honey, I can part it either way. Perfect. Which is great. And if you have hair that matches, mm -hmm. oh yeah, mine's be you really could long. put bangs in it, but you can wear it right behind your ears. Yeah. Picture some little bangs cut. Yeah, we do actually have a video really I'll cute. put a link to that shows how to cut the bangs on an Abigail as well. Great idea. So if you are a bang person, don't turn off this video because you can add bangs to her. So okay. now we're going to show you all the colors she comes in. So we are wearing the two darkest colors. I'm wearing the cappuccino and Rochelle is wearing ginger brown. So the cappuccino is gonna be a very dark, rich brown, as you can see. And then ginger brown is another dark brown, but it has a lot of highlighting of a little bit more reddish brown through it. A little more warmth of uh -huh. ginger brown. Yeah. So we're gonna do a turn so you can see the entire style. Oh, check my back. Looks good. And also we both have longer hair, so our hair is in low ponytails. So if you see a bump back here or anything, that's just our hair. We just threw it up for the video. Um, we would prepare it a little differently if we were going out. Definitely. <laughs> so pretty close up. Thank you. I mean, I'm looking in here. It's such a light wig and I see, it, it's just completely natural looking, honey. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm going to put on the next color, which is going to be a little bit lighter brown. This is a fan favorite color. This is Marble Brown H. So we have a color called Marble Brown. Mm. This is the Marble Brown but with extra highlighting. So I'll show you. So I'm bringing it back just till my hairline. Make sure my tabs are even and play a little. And these wigs have not been brushed, played with, trimmed. We have done zero to no, them. We just looked at them. Yes, we have, <laughs> before we haven't them looked at them until you see them. That's when we're seeing them. Yeah. So that's why sometimes we play for a minute and, you know, like Rochelle said, you can do different things with it. You can try parting it the different way. Like here, I just totally changed the part on it to the other side really cute a little behind my ears so these are the closest colors um, after ginger does come um, marble yeah this okay one. okay so we'll do our little turn great turn. and then the next color Rochelle's gonna put on is a, a color called honey wheat so it's gonna <sighs> be more comparable to the marble but a little bit lighter as you'll see oh I love this a little more of a cool tone. So make sure to even the ear tabs and bring it slowly up to your hairline. Oh, I love, I love it. that because it never gets old. <laughs> right. Always fun. And Ooh, I don't so need it. It's really a pretty it's like a color. really soft color. It's really pretty. Isn't it? Yeah. I don't really see you in that color usually. Right. Rarely. I just yeah. want to show you. I like it with no bangs. Look how great that looks. I mean, she's looking up close. Okay, look at yeah, this. It's, it's amazing. So easy to wear. That's really pretty. Thank you. so real. <laughs> I love this color. Okay. All right, turn. It's really, really pretty color. We're really impressing each other right now. <laughs> it's like we've never seen these colors before. Um, so the next one, this um, comes in one red color, so I'm going to show you it. Mm, okay. So this color is called Red Spice. I like this. Mm -hmm. 
if you're familiar with our Irish spice color, it's similar, but this is a little more, a little more reddish. Ooh. Oh, I love it. For those of you that are redheads, if you're new to wigs, you've got to check out our red colors because we know I was a redhead. It's so hard to keep your hair that color. Right. So, oh, see what's so happening. beautiful. And sometimes, you know, we've talked about many times, maybe you always are used to parting your hair one way, but the wig really wants to go a different way. Feel right. free to, to go the other way. You know, you're, it's a different style anyway. Why not try a different part? Yeah. Or if you're really set with your part. And look, honey, you might not like it like this, but I know there are some of you yes, that you want your full wig. So look how this baby just yes. wants to go. And she is machine teased, but has that lace front. So that's why you get that real, real, really realistic front, but you can still get the fullness up here. Yeah, I could do that too. I could play for hours. I can. I like to smooth <laughs> this side and then. Right. And the thing with Godiva's secret wigs are, put them on, make your touching count. It's not just a constant touch it, touch it. The more you play with it, honestly, the more it'll start looking like a wig. We were so, talking about this the other day. Right? Yes. And, and because I was doing it. <laughs> so uh, even I play with my wig a little too much. But anyway. So I'll do you a quick turn, so a solo turn. Oh, okay. I'm the only red. I'll just look at you. <laughs> Honey, you're a great red. You were you wore I did. a red wig I did. in my your... high school senior photo. I wore a red wig. Yes. Let's see if At I can 16, dig it out. <laughs> okay. We will have to see if we can dig that photo. Yes. Out. Yeah, it was probably 18. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Okay, moving on. We're going to the blondes now. So um, there are two rooted colors this wig comes in. So I'm going to show you, we'll show you both. So this wig comes in Spring Honey, which Rochelle's going to put on, and then Spring Honey R, mm. which is a rooted color, which I'm going to put on so you can really see the difference. Right. This is a great idea. Thank you. So my Spring Honey has no roots, and you can tell because there's nothing darker at the right. root line. So when we say roots, what we mean is this darker hair right here at the base that looks like your hair has grown out, like looks like you have roots. So you can see, really see the difference here. So the, this color is the same, but I have roots here. Can we both bend down at the same time? I think we can. <laughs> so you'll see no roots, roots. So that's really a good visual of the difference between having a rooted color and a non-rooted color. Right. So again, this is the spring honey, just a beautiful, warm, blonde color. And with your eyebrows yes, being right. darker, that's why we put the rooted right. wig on Danielle. Yes. Look how much it sense, sense it right. makes. Right. Without this, it would kind of look a little bit more, a li it would, yeah. well, like, it would look a little more fake on me just right. because my eyebrows and everything is a lot darker. Great so point. this looks like, oh yeah, my hair is dark and it's growing out. That's, it's all about the illusion with wigs. Right. That's all. Okay, next, um, we're both gonna do our lighter blonde colors. <gasps> Yay! So Rochelle's gonna be putting on Creamy Toast, which is the lightest non-rooted color. Mm. And then I'm gonna put on Champagne, which is our lightest rooted color. So, I, yeah, go ahead. I shook my wig first just to play with it being super full. I wanted to show you, but you don't have to, but if you like that extra fullness. And if you don't, like me, I just brush kind of this middle part before mm. I put it on just to break up that center. And then I put it on because I don't mm -hmm. like the fullness as much. But look how flat I can get it too if I want it very mm -hmm. just basic close to the face. It can almost look like a light, like a little page boy on the front with like a little layer. Yeah. I can do so much like with this wig. And trimming some bangs, if you want them, just take them to a hairdresser, or like we talked about our tutorial. And don't be afraid, it's very, very easy. So one thing that's kind of cool is, so this is my hair peeking out, this really, really dark, but because of the roots, it makes sense. So I can actually put 
all my hair, put all the wig hair behind my ears and it still makes sense. Oh. Where if it yes. didn't have the roots, that would look really funny. That's wild. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, so if that. you're That's darker me. on any of our wigs, if you have naturally darker hair and eyebrows, yeah. check out our rooted right. blondes and then to you, make sense. Right, you can do blonde. You don't have to worry about your hair poking out because if it does, it will still look real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I, I do too. Okay. Love it. <laughs> we approve. Just, just, just playing. I'm glad we approve because we're wearing these wigs all over the place. <laughs> so now we're going to show you the two grays that this wig comes in. Yes. So I will be putting on Frosted Taupe and Rochelle is putting on Silver Mink. So again, like what I, so Rochelle usually, you know, shakes it. I hold it in the front and I just brush this little middle part, just this little middle to kind of break up that, that area that's been it's been traveling, you know, travel to you. So I, I've got to show you again. <laughs> so it's very important to bring the hairline up on the wig. See, there's my hair. You can see it right there is the right spot. Tabs even. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Honey, I'm glad we're the same height because imagine if you were like <laughs> be hard tall. to do videos. <laughs> I have to wear super high heels. That's really funny. That's true. <laughs> oh, this, so this is, is what I'm going to look like. Silver. Oh, yeah, I like it. This is what I'm going to look like in the future. <laughs> Hopefully. <You'll laughs> I mean always, the hair. I mean the hair. You'll always be beautiful, my oh, honey. Thank you. <laughs> this is the only time I get to hug my girl. <laughs> hug time, break. Time out. <laughs> mm. Love you. Love you. Okay. Sorry, we're back to Abigail. <laughs> Time in. So I'm wearing the Frosted Taupe color, which is this beautiful taupe color. It's, I, it's cool. It's, yeah. it's like if you're not sure if you want to go gray right. or not, maybe you're a brunette, a lighter brunette, or you're just yeah. sick of coloring your hair. Right. Frosted Taupe, it's got the deeper color, the light in front, but it's cool. And although it is in our gray shades, if you're looking up colors, it's still cool. And I don't look at it and say gray. Right. It, it's kind of a color that can kind of go a lot of different ways. It could be kind of a deeper blonde. It could be a light brown almost, or it mm -hmm. could be a grayish brown. It's, it's kind of like open to interpretation. It's, <laughs> yes. You're free to choose. Right. Freedom of choice. Um, and so Rochelle is wearing silver mink. So this is a very beautiful light gray, but it has this like darker gray blended through it very finely. Oh, Can you see that? And then some of these like very light, 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 not quite white, but very light streaks as well. It's a gorgeous color. You like it? I like it. Here, we'll do our turn for you. Okay. <laughs> so sadly, this concludes our video of the Abigail wig. Again, she is a wonderful lace front wig. She's great for really for all ages. She comes in these gorgeous colors you've seen. And like we said, if you want a bang, still count Abigail in and just trim a bang. Right. Her. Easy. Yes. Just because it's something you haven't done, that doesn't make it hard or not the right thing to do. Correct. It just means it's something different. That's all. Yes. So thanks so much for watching. We hope this helps you and we will see you soon. We're in a love mood. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.